Hi guys, I'm Yaldo. Welcome back to my channel. I have been waiting for this video for a long time. I think same to all of you guys. The tuning for the TTE-440L is finally done. I don't really know the final results right now, but I'm going to film in next video. So you are going to see its next video. And I'm still running the Shell 91. Gas in British Columbia, Canada is not that really good. The boost right now is running about 26 PSI. And uh, during the tuning process, we had a problem and that the problem caused the delay and uh, the tuner told me the car had uh, two problems and uh, the first problem will be a boost leak and another problem will be the aggregator is not in the correct position and I chose the aggregator to check first because I had a boost leak before last year during the track my charge pipe was blow off and I remember what the driving feels like when the car has a boost leak. We did everything we could on that aggregator and the car didn't go higher boost as ECU requires. And then the only problem left is a boost leak. And we did a smoke test on the car and the result was the boost leak really. I wish I did the boost leak at the first place then it will be save so much time. However, the car is running perfect right now. So right now I'm going to take a quick look that all of the performance parts will be related to the power on this car. First, you definitely need a TTE 440L turbo which is there and the Forge Motorsports diverter valve kit that's there you cannot really see and the CTS turbo catalyst downpipe and also for Armatrix catalyst back exhaust system ECS tuning air intake and uh, R3 spark plugs and the ignitions and also here CTS turbo charge pipe on this side and also on that side and the uh, AEM water methanol injection at there here and then the intercooler from the APR here and also the APR turbo muffler delete. I also did the TVS engineering TCU tune to this car, which is stage 2 plus, and that will be handling more power. I remember it is about 500 Newton meter. Let me show you the problem. As you can see here, that is a solenoid from the exhaust system and uh, one of the pipe is going to the exhaust and uh, one of the pipe is going to the vacuum source on the car that's the pipe to the vacuum source which I already unplugged it because this is a problem there should be a one-way valve on this pipe that one-way valve will stop in air going to here so that's the problem to causing all of this leak from here from here you cannot really see on camera and uh, after I unplug this pipe and uh, the car is running really good I'm still waiting on Matrix to send me the one-way valve and the new solenoid and after I put that on I believe the exhaust will be start working again and when I did the uh, integrated engineering stage 2 and that the control system started to doesn't work and I believe the integrated engineering increased the boost to that stock turbo because the more boost is going and then the problem start to showing up I'm not sure the dyno results from that integrated engineering stage 2 is correct or not so we cannot find out right now because the car is totally different right now just then eventually so how do you guys think the result I think the car should be faster I hope I can get 0 to 100 about 3 0.6 something like that and uh, there is a video on the YouTube uh, A4 installed the LM430 turbo and that car did 0 to 100 at 3.5 and that contact to the tuner for that car they said the car removed the seats from the car even I removed the seats on this on my car but still couldn't go that fast right now. I hope I can get a better result when I use the Octane Booster. The car, it is really fast right now. However, let me know how do you guys think in the comments below. 
and uh, this will be end of this video and the next video i'm going to show you the dyno results on this car with shell 91 octane next next video i'm going to show you the dyno results from this car with octane booster so stay tuned for those i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram as well thank you for watching i will see you next video